I love this. We Calgarians take pride in our work, in our outdoor spaces, and we put a lot of time and effort into making comfortable, beautiful homes. Can't wait. We also love our water features. Beautiful. And that's where we come in. From crazy indoor water features to crafting your own outdoor nature paradise. That's what we do. Join us as we show you what you can have with some imagination, heavy machinery, and skillful hands. We, we are Water by Design. Here we are out front of the new Avatam Saka Monastery, uh, downtown Calgary, Alberta. The monastery is under construction and we are inside uh, day one on our new water feature build. Everything about this job at the monastery really has meaning. It was a super educational uh, project uh, Spiritual. to be part of. It, it, it was really cool, man. I really enjoyed it. We are going to be creating an indoor oasis like no other for this new monastery. Just underneath these windows over here, is where our waterfall is going to be situated. I will have the waterfall starting in this corner, which is the east corner. It's very important for this build as the monk's belief and feng shui that the water flows from east to west. Victor, um, who works at the monastery, Dr. Victor um, Wong, Mm -hmm. um, he found us. He actually uh, contacted one of our competitors with the concept and they said, well, we're not sure how to do that. Contact Kevin and Grant at Water by Design and boom, we were there. <laughs> this is the east, this is the west. I'm gonna have multiple stream beds, multiple waterfalls, all flowing east to west, coming into our pond area, which is here. Everything's not buttoned up yet, but we started constructing out of lumber, two by fours, plywood, uh, and treated lumber as well when needed and where needed. Uh, to best build and construct this water feature to last a lifetime as we do offer our lifetime warranty on this water feature and every water feature we build. We can do water down. features anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah. Bring it. That being said, we have nice high ceilings. Once we were done all the hardscaping, construction and building the water feature, we we're going to soften the design with a number of plants and flowers, etc., which is going to enhance things and it's gonna complement the water and the rock and it's just gonna feel very natural. Goodwill tamping. Goodwill tamping. No <laughs> tamping. Although he did drop my phone and smash it. That sucked. Matt Damon, you owe me a phone. <laughs> uh, we're going for a very natural look here, not really a modern or contemporary look. It's very important, it's very natural and everything flows. Over here in front of me, is actually giant statues of Buddha. Um, basically, this is where people come to celebrate the happiness and Buddha and their beliefs in Buddhism. Um, basically, the water feature flowing east to west is flowing in towards Buddha and Buddha is facing the water feature. So, these are kind of the goals of this feature. No real big challenges here for me, just uh, having to deal with uh, other trades, other contractors, and just having to work alongside um, other people in a busy job site like this can, can make uh, things difficult from time to time just in regards to space. But uh, we're set up pretty good, so I'm excited and let's uh, start the build. So we build everything out of wood on these kind of water features. We have to build up, we can't dig into the ground. Yeah, up, up and away. And the experience for this comes from home shows, yeah. doing Western Oasis stampede jobs. So we've done this style a lot. Oh yeah, we got a lot of experience doing indoor waterfalls. You can see actually uh, all this blue and green paint on the floor. Um, I actually came in and marked it all out uh, with tape before we started just so they could get the design and kind of just get a feel for my vision for this space. Not only that, I did a sketch as I always do before projects like this for the client, but it's very, very helpful to tape out the floor in the space so that they can see what's going on. Uh, the blue tape on the floor was the stream bed and then the green tape was the boxes uh, and then marked out at the different heights for the elevation drops for our waterfalls and our stream bed. 
So we're just creating the base or the subfloor for the pond. I use plywood because it's much softer than concrete and it's much more forgiving when we're placing our boulders inside the pond. We are outside on a tour, exploring the exterior of the building, checking out the gardens, uh, etc. Just to get some inspiration for building the water feature inside. It's very important to me that the outside gardens flow with the inside water feature and it's just an extension of what's going on outside, inside, and everything comes together and flows. We've got rustic boulders here in their garden, which we will also be incorporating into the water feature. Not a big fan of mulch around water uh, for multiple reasons, more so with outdoor, but it always constantly blows into our features, clogs up our filters, and then the color of the mulch will leach into the water, which doesn't give you that clean, clear, clear pristine water that we always want in our ponds and waterfalls. Is your house feeling dated, or are you just wanting a fresh new look? Whether you're listing a property, have multiple rentals that need maintenance, or want to make your home feel new again, with same day painting, you're in good hands. We love painting your homes, and we have the manpower for any commercial job as well. With a 30 day warranty, six point inspection, and a full color consultation, our dedicated team of qualified professionals will deliver the highest quality job. Same day painting, more than paint, it's peace of mind. Welcome to Pacific Hut, where great food and great people come together. Classic Filipino dishes and delicious all-day breakfasts in comforting Filipino-style cooking. Bring your family and come in today. Pacific Hut. Your experience with Legacy Kitchen starts with a visit to our showroom, where our designers and craftsmen are committed to creating a kitchen that suits your home and lifestyle. We coordinate every aspect of the design and renovation process, taking you from an idea to reality. For over three decades, we have proudly served Calgary homeowners and home builders with premium kitchen design and renovations. Legacy Kitchens, we are with you all the way. How important is your roof to you? Eurashield, your smart choice in roofing. Eurashield, environmentally friendly rubber roofing systems. Hail. Heat, wind, rain and snow, bring it on. Alberta made for any kind of extreme weather. For life. Built from recycled material. Built to endure. Built to cover your home in style. Eurashield, the best choice for your home. Greening the earth, one roof at a time. Out here, we've got this beautiful dry stream bed that the monks actually created and designed themselves. We're out there uh, getting inspired and taking notes. Quite impressed with the workmanship of this feature. Um, I like it a lot. So just taking in to consideration the way they've got the logs naturally placed, the way they've spaced their boulders and the types of rock that they're using. Just always important that things flow uh, outdoors to indoors uh, in this case. And the monks were very concerned in the beginning because they had a vision and they had a way of placing stones so things look very natural. And, and, and they were, they just wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing and that I understand their vision. And I did, man. And, uh, but I take people very seriously. Just check out the different sizes of rocks, how they place them. They go from big to small. Stack, double stack, they've got really nice connections. I'm going to go look at their spaces, look at their work, study things that they like, their designs, and see their... Did they place the stones outside? Yes. Okay, so there you go. Really like this whole space, actually. And the way they've broken up this dry stream bed is inspiring me to the way I am going to place the rocks in their stream bed, in their waterfall uh, upstairs. I think it breaks it up, it looks really good, and it just brings that whole aspect of nature. 
it's not a big space and it's also not a small space. They gave me my space. Man, we need those rocks up and standing. We need our material, our tools. We just, ah, all the pieces of the puzzle. Spreads out. Spreads out, yeah. man. You gotta see your options. So I'm gonna tighten slowly. You're gonna keep walking around, check the corners. I think this corner to my right's a little lower than the corner to my left. Right now we're into the carpentry portion of the job, but once you get into the rocking the pond and rocking the waterfalls, you have to have those uh, options accessible and you have to see them all. It's uh, indoor Kev too. He's being quiet for the monastery. I am. He's using his indoor voice. You got to respect the monks, man. Yeah. And Buddha, like Buddha's right there, man, across from me. Like, so shh, respect down. Buddha. Yeah. <laughs> First day on our new build, so already taken really good care of us, and uh, can't wait to try out the food. They fed us and inspired me, and uh, yeah, the food was good. I'll definitely go back. It's a vegetarian buffet. Uh, I feel super zen. Zen zone, they baby. Really got me into my zen zone. There. Things are going really good. So, got my bubbler in. Um, just hooking up plumbing for that today. Also ran all my plumbing. That's gonna go up to the waterfall. Um, our project has changed slightly. We started off with a water blade feature which turned into a waterfall with a single stream bed. And now uh, what, we're, what we've created is a three waterfalls. Um, one, two, three, coming off of one stream bed. And then we've added the bubbler to the pond as an additional item, which is super cool and gonna look amazing when it's all said and done. Four waterfalls in a bubbler. What more could you ask for, man? It's gonna be amazing. All the plumbing goes underneath. Again, we can't bury it in the ground, so we have to find our route to run our feed lines to our waterfall from our pump that's in the pond. So I'm about to go underneath um, the waterfall that's constructed. I got my headlamp on so I can see. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go get her done. I'd say, yeah, that's an indoor element that's harder than when you do it outside or outdoors. When you do it outdoors, you have access, you can see everything. Mm -hmm. Indoors, going through all the wood and trying to plan that ahead, it's, it's trickier indoors. And you do have to plan it ahead because you can frame it and then all of a sudden get under there and be like, I can't leave yourself enough room. Yes, yeah. so you gotta leave yourself enough room to get in there, get out. Not only for this part of the project and the build, but maintenance in the future, man. What if something happens, something goes wrong and we need to access that? Yeah. We have to have access moving forward always. Got my headlamp. Geared up for an adventure. Got my zap straps. Yeah, we're going, uh, we're going uh, exploring. <clears throat> I'll be back. I hope. This is Tam Damon's first I was going to say, what's that guy yeah. doing fittings for? Ah, uh, well, you know, you got to sometimes, you know, hand down the reins. <laughs> yeah, and true. this is a this is an example of Especially that. Especially when you're underneath the cave. Well, because I had to push, actually, from right. under. And then he had to push from outside. So actually, it's, it's total teamwork. There's fittings that are And you were there. <laughs> right. So. And there's fittings that are two man. Make sure you push it all the way in. You'll feel it. Hey, man. Made it. Think ahead, plan ahead. That's what we do. Kyle's first fitting. He is no longer a pipe virgin. He's done a great job. Been doing a great job all week, and uh, it's just been him and I on this project. So, uh, yeah, it's going really good, and uh, yeah, good job, brother. <laughs> Clearly, the phone smash has not happened yet, and he did it filming for the show, and it was oh my god, he just had this look on his face. I'm like, what? What happened? It's like you're gonna have to talk. I know that's hard for you, but you're gonna have to tell me I what's broke going your phone. on. I, I thought he would, yeah, he almost, I think he did have tears in his eyes. Right. And he ripped down to wherever the phone doctor and got it fixed. Yeah. Um, and uh, it was good. Need a truck or a fleet for a seasonal job? Don't lease it, rent it. Shag and Nappy GM now offers short term rentals for our entire lineup of Chevy and GM trucks. Shag and Nappy GM and Cobalt Rentals. This is the new way. When you have a Canada Outdoor Kitchen, you get more out of life. Add a whole new dimension to how you use and enjoy your home. Enjoy family and friends and extend your outdoor cooking, dining, and living experience 
for up to the entire year. Canada Outdoor Kitchens. Dream big, live well. We didn't have to make them so comfortable, but we did. Toto. We at The Landscape Artists have been transforming Calgary landscapes for 40 years, serving this city and surrounding areas with smartly designed creative outdoor living spaces. Crafting your outdoor oasis has never been easier with amazing results. You'll enjoy working with our creative design team as we take your vision from dream to a reality. You deserve a place to unwind, a place to think, and a wonderful place to entertain. Call our firm today for your free consultation. The Landscape Artist, award-winning design and construction. I got a new blade for the saw. It cut through that like butter, man. That was sweet. Get some really nice color and some really nice texture. It's really hard to see. This side you can see a little bit more. Look at that. It almost looks like metal. You see? Here, here. And then some quartzite lines. So, hi, Mr. Shane. Look at that, buddy. Totally measured it, totally planned it. I don't know what happened to our cedar cap templates that I brought down. Planning for them to fit right over top and actually uh, just kind of hide that transition where the rock meets the liner. Just because my box is a rectangle doesn't mean that my rock walls need to be a rectangle. Nothing in nature is square. There's never straight lines. Everything's curved and everything flows. The pieces of our puzzle, they're all standing up the way that I want to see them, I want to place them. So when I'm putting that puzzle together in my mind, I can see my pieces and it just, it just makes it easier. Foaming it up, locking them in. Um, yeah, just building nature, man. I love it. Right now, you can see the size of the rocks. Uh, it's a lot of weight, man. So it was on my mind. I think I lost sleep about this one, just thinking about it and thinking ways to cut corners to cut weight. I was working with engineers, okay, they're general contractors. This was a discussion every single day. Uh, how we're gonna cut weight, is this too much weight? What are we gonna do? You gotta think lumber, liner, lights, plumbing, pipe, rocks, rocks, more rocks. Yeah, and there's not like there's a scale there where you're throwing each rock on and being like, no. oh, we're at this weight now and now this weight. How like, much does that feature no weight? Oh, I'd have to guess, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, going into the liner like that, it, uh, I'm very particular about who I'm gonna pass large boulders to. If you have somebody drop a large boulder uh, and get a hole in your liner when you've done all that work, honestly, uh, man, you just, you gotta be super careful. Beautiful. Loving it. For sure, you can patch a liner always. Do you want to? No. I mean... It just stops the flow of what you're doing. Now you gotta yeah. get the whole repair kit out, yeah. prep it, do it, lose sleep about it. And what if it... Duk, duk, and you don't see the other hole? Finding a pinhole can be next to impossible. We've been down that road before oh and it's... Yeah. yeah. So you think you got the hole, you think you patched it, but if it did the duk, duk, duk or something like that, you don't know, you might, the, the liner's compromised, don't drop the rocks, be careful, and uh, you know, mind your footing. The challenge is building up with not a lot of space. It always comes to rise over run uh, when building rock walls or building rock waterfalls. Um, a lot of rise, not a lot of run. I don't want to eat up a lot of my pond space, and I don't want to Use, use large rocks, which are gonna weigh a lot because the challenge on this one, uh, like Connie and I were just discussing, is the weight of the feature and whether or not the building can handle that weight. So instead of pushing our luck, um, we're gonna cheat it. We're using 
skinnier rocks to get her height. Um, I'm shimming everything up. I'm using foam to glue everything to the back wall. And uh, actually, it's working out really good, and I really like the way this one's coming together and turning out. Sometimes it gets tricky with these folds. You always want to make sure they're folded downstream so that the water goes over top and not folded upstream so they don't collect pebbles in water and restrict flow and basically become annoying. I love just seeing that crack. Here we go. Just love it. It's all about shimming, locking those rocks in and then foaming them. The plants are attracted to water and they're going to grow into the water so these should all weep down into the pond. It's going to complement the rock, the rock's going to complement the plant and it's just, they're just together, they're going to look so nice. So green and purple, adding a little bit of color. get into the smaller pebbles. Somebody blew the breaker. I've done a major renovation before and I met them and I was just so comfortable with them. Well this is my sanctuary and I want a peaceful, quiet place. I wanted a place that's welcoming. I love having company and especially my family. It's, that's the most important thing. Every Sunday, usually my family's here. And uh, yeah, it, I just wanted a place where we can all be together. We need to replace our kitchen cabinets. You've come to the right place. We have an idea, but you can sit down with one of our designers. That's one way we try to make your life easier. I don't want to be assembling cabinets on my weekend. Hey, the only Ellen you'll ever need is that guy. Renovating is fast and easy with the help of our cabinet experts. I love these cabinets. No longer a contractor's best kept secret. We provide pre-assembled cabinets right this. here in the yeah, great city of Calgary. Yep. Get your cabinets right here. Hi, I'm Pete the Plumber, here with Mike from Tally Renovations. Mike, how do you tackle kitchens? Kitchens are really, really important. They're the absolute heart of the home, so they take a little extra time and care to get it right, because it's really the hub for your family, for your friends, and it's the gathering place for everything that you do. And with that attitude, that's why I always recommend Mike from Tally Renovations. Tally Renovations, beautiful spaces built right. What it actually says is seeing water flowing I hope all living beings have their good wishes come true and wash away confusion and defiled thoughts have you ever done anything with so so much spiritual significance before this is the first one with this kind of spiritual significance so and being part of a feature like this is really special to water by design and very happy to be a part of this what a project. wonderful opportunity for you to use your skills and your creativity and your artistry to merge with the spiritual practice of all of these folks. Yes. I love that. I mean, you do beautiful work. You've Thank you. You've really built the legacy for Calgary in so many ways, the land of lemurs, yes. and now this, and I hope you're really proud of it. I'm very proud of it and happy to be a part of this Wonderful. in the city of Calgary and just adding life to spaces all over the city. Fabulous. Congratulations. Nice to see you again. Nice Take to care. See you. Take care. All right. Oh man, that was awesome. That's the mayor of Calgary, the man, Mr. Nenshi. I mean, so great for him to show up there at the inauguration. So great that he took some time out of his busy schedule to come over and talk to me. But man, hes uh, I ran into him before. Uh, he brought up the land of lemurs. He's been down to our Western Oasis. Uh, he's admired our work uh, many different times. So he's a fan. Here we are at the Abba Tam Saka Monastery. We're on the fourth floor. 
indoor oasis. It's uh, finished, it came together really nice, I think above and beyond expectations and certainly what I had uh, in my mind's eye for a vision for this water feature when we started talking design, etc. What kind of feedback have you gotten, Victor, for this, this, this water feature? Well, the first thing, everybody loves it. Right. Everybody walk by this water feature, it's so soothing, so comfortable and it ran into the this great environment right well we are in front of the Buddha Hall the Buddha Hall yeah. the Buddha is for liberation right. and this is, is uh, well, go so well with that crimp totally. just makes it look so much bigger right like it just yeah it's the surroundings man and the plant life and just everything yeah just working together to, to make it beautiful and, and make it feel big, make it feel like more than it does it is. feel big. Yeah. The monks and nuns uh, give me uh, the, that project. Okay, well, find someone to make a, a water feature here. To me, water is essential, just like the teaching of the Buddha that helps us to open up our wisdom. It is wonderful to have Kevin build this water feature for us. I call him the Prince of Stone. Water is all the stronger for being soft, yielding and accepting. And this very harmony is key to how we address diversity and differences. No fighting, no fighting at all. I uh, talked to Kevin and he gave me a, well, a very good uh, insight. Uh, about, and, but he didn't tell me what they have. Instead, he showed me many examples. And that really widened my scope of thinking. And that's very important. Yeah, if you have any questions moving forward, we're here to help, so. Sure, yeah, well, I got your number. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Victor, awesome. Yeah. Thanks again, and it was welcome. great working with sure. you. <laughs> All right. After I talked to Kevin and uh, the demonstration he showed us, oh, it totally broke my mind. Really glad that I'm, I, I, I learned from Kevin and he showed me how to work on the stone.